in the bulletin it says story time. I guess anybody can come up, but not that you can. The uh, title of our story today is Unbirthday Surprises. Have you ever had a birthday? Put your hand, had a birthday? I guess you own people had birthdays. Are you two girls? Nobody else? No, I've never had a birthday. Well, these are not admitted to. So what happens on your birthday? What do you get at home? Presents. Yeah, presents and that. But what happens when you don't have a birthday? When it's an unbirthday? How many birthdays do you have a year? One. How many unbirthdays? 364 unbirthdays. So it would be better to celebrate maybe the unbirthdays, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, God loves us. And you know he answers prayers. Have you had prayers answered? I'm sure you have I had prayers answered. But sometimes he likes to show his love in other ways. Yeah, he loves us. What if today when you went home, you got presents? Huh? Wouldn't that be a surprise? Because it's not your birthday, is it? And you get presents. Well, the story goes. It was a hot and sunny day in Tennessee. Now, Tennessee's further up north, and that's where Colleen and I used to live. But it was hot, and it was humid like down here. There was a little breeze blowing, so that helped. But the sun was out and bright, and we were at the church in Merrillville, and we were pulling weeds from the flower beds. And we're pulling weeds, and it was hot. And even though I had a hat on and that, it still was hot. And we were sweaty and getting tired, but we had to get all the weeds. So we were pulling weeds. About two hours, and we were about done in the afternoon. And it had been really windy the night before. And the church grounds were about as big as these grounds. I mean, they have a school, they have a baseball field, and that, and lots of trees. And a lot of the dead branches had fallen off from the trees. And they were sitting around, and of course, if you're going to mow the grass, you can't mow over all the dead branches. So while my wife was finishing pulling up weeds, I went out and started picking up dead branches. And I picked up dead branches and hauled them back to a pile, you know, like we have back here in the back of our church, where you can burn them later on. So I was picking up dead branches and that, and I noticed... About the time I was done, I picked up all the bread branches. I noticed out of the corner of my eye, some litter was off a ways. And the wind was blowing, and the litter was blowing, and pretty soon it'd be on the neighbor's yard. And I was hot, and I was tired, and sweaty. And it was about time to go home. So what do you think I should do? Should I go and pick up the litter? Raise your hand. You think I should go pick up the litter? Okay. How about, should I just not pick the litter up and just let it blow onto the neighbor's yard and let them go pick up the litter? What do you think? Should we raise your hand for that? <laughs> oh, there's an occasional person. Well, you know what? I went and I picked up the litter. Oh. And it was about like this. Ah, oh, I was tired. Oh. And you know what the litter was? It was a dollar bill. <laughs> I was surprised. Have you ever picked up a penny off the sidewalk and really yeah. felt happy? Yeah. It's like a hundred pennies. I never had that happen before. Wow. And so I went and showed my wife. She wasn't quite as impressed because she had picked up a $20 bill one time. But that's a different story. You let her tell that story. Anyway, I, and she said, well, what are you going to do with it? So I thought, well, what should I do with it? Well, at that time, in that church, just like we used to do here, when they had the children's story, the kids would get around and pick up, and people would give them dollar bills for the worthy student fund. Maybe we should restart that here. Anyway, so I said, okay, this next Sabbath, in a couple of days, I'll give it to the worthy student fund. And we finished our work, and we went home. Okay? And at our home, uh, we got, drove in the driveway, and my wife said, oh, I'm hot and tired, so I would like to go for a dip in the swimming pool. Now, within the community, like some places around here where they have a community pool, 
And she said, you want to come with me? Well, I thought, oh, I'm not so sure. You know, I'm hot, tired. I think we just take a shower and go sit down and read a book. It was still really hot out and that. But she said, oh, come on, okay. So we went down to the pool. Now, usually it's really crowded. I mean, it was a warm, hot, sunny day, big pool. But no, no one else was there. Just like our own pool. But the wind was blowing, and they cleaned the pool every morning. But the wind had blown enough, and in Tennessee you have all these big oak leaves and stuff, and, and there's a whole, quite a few leaves in the pool. My wife didn't like this as well. She said, well, I'll go start swimming my laps, and you clean the pool. <laughs> so, I got my, something like this, it only actually was a real one, and went along, got the leaves out, dumped them out, outside the pool. Went along, got the leaves out, dumped them out, outside the pool. And I was almost done. I was getting hot again and ready to jump in the pool. And then I saw down kind of deep, not on top like some of the leaves were, but kind of deep. It looked like some paper or something down below. Well, what do you think I should do? I'm ready to stop. Now, some people, I think, have jumped to a conclusion. They said, well, that's another dollar bill down there. But no, I'll tell you ahead of time. It's not a dollar bill. Okay? So. What should I do? Should I give up early, not finish my work? No, should I go get that piece of trash down there? Okay. So I went way down in that and picked it up. It was all wet and soggy, and it wasn't a dollar bill. It was, what's that? Five dollars. In the same day, I found a dollar bill and a five dollar bill. A hundred pennies and five hundred pennies. Wasn't that amazing? And I was so happy. You know, Jesus, I had, when I prayed that morning, I hadn't asked to find money. But you know what he did? He gave me money. And that money went for the worthy student fund, and so they had extra. Isn't that amazing? And God loves us so much that He gives us stuff that even we don't even ask for. Amen. Shall we have prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank You for being with us and trusting us and loving us so much that You give us beyond what we even ask for. Amen. Amen.